Hey, we're gonna gonna cover a title called Gorgo from Charlton. Started in 1960. Now, I uh, had a few of these off the rack. These are not my off the rack copies. Those got read to death. The covers were, you know, torn off. Now, I don't know whatever happened to those original copies, but I managed to pick these up uh, from eBay sellers uh, through the years. And, uh, you know, I was glad to get them because uh, I loved the movie and I thought the comic book was really cool. So anyway, this is the first issue. Uh, this cover is probably by Dick Giordano. You know, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, from the sources that, that I checked, they seem to think it's probably Dick Giordano's work. Interior art by uh, Steve Ditko, Sam Glansman, Charles Nicholas as Chasel, uh, Sal Trapani, uh, and, and Rocco, Rocky Mastroserio, Vince Alessia, and maybe Dick Giordano on the inside. And the writing on all of this pretty much was uh, Joe Gill. He was the writer at Charlton. He wrote just about everything. Okay, this is number two. And uh, covered by Steve Ditko. Uh, interior art, Steve Ditko. Number three, covered by Steve Ditko. Interior art, Steve Ditko, Bill Molno, Vince Alessia. Number four, uh, this cover is by uh, Steve Ditko. Interior art, Charles Nicholas, Vince Alessia, Sal Trapani. Here's number five. Now this cover is by Joe Sennett and Vince Coletta. It's kind of funny to see a cover by those two guys. Uh, you know, I know that Sennett was a pretty good penciler, but he his claim to fame was being a great inker, like especially a Marvel, over the likes of Jack Kirby and and uh, John Buscema. And Vince Coletta was the guy they called when uh, they were up against the deadline and they had to have it done right now. Uh, he was, you know, he catches a lot of uh, uh, bad uh, reviews from fans for the most part because of his uh, scratchy inks. And he, he <laughs> a lot of times he would erase a lot of pencils uh, just to save time, you know, and ink in a bunch of black but anyway you know that's Vinnie Coletta he, he's the he's the guy they called when uh, when they had to have it right now and uh, interior are Joe Sennett and Vince Coletta Bill Molno Vince Alessia Joe Sennett on the other hand was an excellent inker I mean his stuff was absolutely awesome uh, here's number six. This cover is by Joe Sennett and Vince Coletta. Once again, interior art. Uh, Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta, Rocco, Rocky, Monster Serio, and Bill Molno. They had backup features in these Charlton books, too, you know. That's why you had the different artists there. Uh, this number seven. Uh, this cover is by Joe Sennett and Vince Coletta. Interior are Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta, Bill Molno, Rocco Mastroserio. Here's number eight. <laughs> Gorgo giving a polar bear trouble there. Uh, cover by Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta. Interior are Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta, Rocco Mastroserio. That one's a little lower grade, you can tell. Got a little piece missing there, and it's got the cover crease, you know. It's probably in good. But I'm okay with that. I'm, 
the majority of these are, you know, in mid grade, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Number nine, uh, it's covers by Joe Sennett and Vince Coletta. Interior art, Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta, Bill Molno, and Vince Alasia. Here's number 10. Uh, this cover is, they seem to think it's by Dick Giordano and Vince Coletta, but uh, they, they weren't sure at the Grand Comics database. Uh, some question marks after the names there. And then the interior art by Joe Sennett has a question mark, and, and then Vince Coletta and Rocco Monster Serio. Here's number 11. This cover is by Steve Ditko. Interior art by Steve Ditko, Charles Nicholas, and Vince Alasia. By the way, uh, my little Palmer Gorgo is helping me out here. That's one of my Palmers from uh, childhood there. And here's number 12. This cover is by Bill Montez and Vince, Vince Coletta. Interior are Joe Sennett, Vince Coletta, Bill Molno, Dick Giordano, and Rocco Mastroserio. Here's number 13, uh, cover by Steve Ditko, Interior Arts, Steve Ditko, Dick Giordano, and Rocco Mastroserio. Number 14, cover by Bill Montez and Ernie Bocci. I used to see these names signed on the cover Montez Bocci when I was a kid, because I started buying a few of them around this time when those guys started doing the title. And... Uh, uh, I always wondered if that was one guy or what. See, it's right there, Montez Bocci. <laughs> That's two guys, Bill Montez and Ernie Bocci. So, uh, interior art, Steve Ditko, Jack Keller, Bill Molno, Vince Alessia. There's number 15, and that's a great cover there. That's uh, Gorgo uh, squaring off, looks like, against uh, a T-Rex, of course. And, you know, they, in these type books, they always uh, try to make the the monsters kind of like the same size pretty much to make it an interesting fight. But And that T-Rex right there is uh, based on, uh, I think, the Rudolph Zallinger T-Rex from the famous Zallinger mural. And, uh, you know, in reality, a T-Rex... As terrible as they were compared to us, they were only like 20 feet tall, and, and even Gorgo himself, who was a baby, was a lot bigger than that. He was like, what, 50, 60 feet tall? His mother was like 200 feet tall. She was like a kaiju monster from hell. But anyway, uh, you know, they try to make it interesting and make them around the same size. And uh, that number 15 there is it covers by Dick Giordano, interior art, Steve Ditko, Bill Molno. Number 16, cover Steve Ditko, interior Steve Ditko, Bill Montez, and Vince Coletta. Number 17, cover by Dick Giordano, interior art Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, Dick Giordano, Bill Molno. Number 18, cover by Dick Giordano, interior art, Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, Bill Molno. Here's number 19. This cover is by Dick Giordano and Pat Masuli, they think, with inks by Dick Giordano. Uh, interior art, uh, Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, Bill Molno. I had a copy of this as a kid. I vividly remember that. Some of the fun monster comics I bought back in the mid-60s when I was a little bitty monster kid. Uh, number 20, cover by Dick Giordano. Interior art, Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, Bill Frollo, and Vince Alessia. 
number 21, cover by Dick Giordano, art by Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, and Bill Molno. 22. I had a copy of this when I was a kid, too. Off the rack. Read it to death. Cover by Dick Giordano. Interior, Bill Montez, Ernie Bocci, Bill Molno, Vince Alessia. And this was a recurring theme. Uh, you know, they had Gorgo. I mean, he was a monster, but uh, he was always going up against the communist uh, <laughs> threat. You know, he'd tear up their ships and and their submarines and generally give those dictators a, a rough life, a short life. Here's number 23. This is the last issue of the run. Uh, this cover is by Rocco Mastroserio. Interiors by Bill Montez, Ernie Bacci, and Bill Molno. And this is uh, one of the side titles featuring Gorgo. This is uh, Gorgo's Revenge. It's number one. It was actually a one-shot of, of this title. Uh, this cover is by Dick Giordano. And uh, interior art, Charles Nicholas, Vince Alessia, and Rocco Mastroserio. And this became The Return of Gorgo. That's number two. Uh, cover by Dick Giordano. Interior art, Steve Ditko, Bill Molno. Like I said, Joe Gill, he, he wrote all this stuff. They said he would just sit for all day and just crank out scripts for comic books at Charlton. And he, he could crank out a, lot, a big pile of scripts in like one day. It's incredible. Uh, this cover on number three here, this is the last issue of this title, is by Dick Giordano, interior art, Steve Ditko, Bill Molno. And we come to the last one I'm going to feature in this video. This is Fantastic Giants. It's actually a one-shot, but it's number 24. It came on the heels of, of uh, the Conga and Gorgo series, which were both ended at number 23. I believe it was actually continued officially from Conga, the Conga title. And I'll be doing a Conga video later because I have that run too. You know, I bought those as a kid and really enjoyed them. But uh, anyway, uh, this came out in 1966, and this is my favorite Charlton comic. This is a big uh, square bound issue there. You know, when you can spin a quarter on the spinner rack and get something really cool that would entertain you for a while. And uh, this is an all Ditko issue. It features uh, the reprints of Conga number one and Gorgo number one, which was their origins, the movie adaptations as well as two new stories by Steve Ditko. And I mean, this is just like right out of uh, the pre-hero Marvel feel, you know, with the Kirby Ditko monsters, and it's just great, man. I can't say enough about how great this comic is. Uh, I have fond memories of it from the off-the-rack copy that I had as a kid, and, uh, you know, I, I still love it to this day. It's my favorite Charlton Anyway, this cover is by Steve Ditko, of course, and the art by Steve Ditko, because it's an all Steve Ditko affair. You can't go wrong picking this one up if you want to really get the Charlton feel. I can't recommend that highly enough. Fantastic Giants, it's a one-shot, and they turn up on eBay, usually pretty beat up, but, you know, you can get a beat-up copy for around 20 bucks, or maybe, well, you could a few years ago. I don't know about now. At least, you know, things like the MCU hasn't affected this stuff, but just in general, collectibles have crept up, you know, across the board. But anyway, there we go. That's Gorgo uh, and related uh, titles. And I'll see you next time.